Once you want to get started investing and you know what you want to buy, you've still got one more question to cover off, and that is, what is the best platform or app that you should use? Now, as you may already know, there are a ton to choose from, and more and more providers are appearing on the market, seemingly every single year, offering new kinds of services, all trying to grab a small piece on commissions from your hard-earned money. And whether you want to trade UK stocks, US companies, ETFs, index funds, bonds, commodities, or even options, you'll need a platform to do this on. I thought I'd put together a video covering off most of the popular platforms that we can use here in the UK, some of which I personally use myself to manage my own investments. I'm gonna run through some of the high level details, walk through the pros and cons, look at the important aspects like fees and charges, and then we're gonna have our very own award ceremony where I'll let you know what I think the best platforms and apps are in the UK for each type of investor. But in all honesty, if you're a long-term investor who only needs the basics, then you'll be spoilt for choice. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the list. First up, let's talk about Vanguard, the largest provider of mutual funds in the world and one of the biggest names in investing. Vanguard is not technically an app, you can't get it on your smartphone, but you can access your account through their website at Vanguard Investor. To UK investors, this platform allows you to invest in mutual funds and ETFs, covering every part of the world and all of the major markets around the world. They also provide you access to some of their actively managed funds like the popular life strategy and target retirement funds. Breaking down their pros and cons, I'd say the best things about this platform is the access to low fees something they're really well known for. The account fee is a super low 0.15%, capped at £375 per year, and then the ongoing costs of their funds start at a super low 0.07%, meaning that you can manage all of your investments for an annual charge of around 0.22%. On the downside of the platform, you've got a couple of little things which you need to be aware of. If you're looking to trade shares in individual companies, then this is not the platform for you. You only have access to those mutual funds and ETFs, which are groups of companies together. If you wanted to own Tesla, Microsoft, Amazon, or Google directly, then sorry, you'll need to trade elsewhere. But don't forget, these funds include most of these stocks anyway, especially the major global ones. Secondly, this platform lacks a smartphone app. Everyone would love to see one available and they do have one for US customers. Clearly, they're lagging behind here, but in all honesty, for long-term investors, we don't really need to be checking our portfolio every day even though I definitely still do this out of habit. For full disclosure, I am a Vanguard customer and I use it for my stocks and shares ISA. Feel free to check out my channel for lots of videos about the platform and some information on lots of the funds they offer. Next, let's talk about one of the newer platforms in Block who have stormed the UK with their pink themed app and website, Free Trade. This platform, just like the name suggests, provides its users with free trading across major stock markets, including the UK and the US. Free Trade have attracted over a million customers over the last couple of years, as the boom in interest in the stock market has caused people to finally take note and make their money work for them while the bull market continues. Fingers crossed. Free Trade has an interesting business model. It's an app only platform. There's no website to go to for your trading and there is no charge or commissions for trading inside of a general trading account. But you will need to stump up a fee if you want to access either a stocks and shares ISA or a SIP which are key investing accounts if you plan on getting your money growing over the long term without the tax man needing to get involved. The app itself is pretty simple to use. Some might say too simple, but there's everything you need in order to pick and browse between your favorite FTSE 100 and US tech stocks, which also includes popular ETFs as well. On the downside, you do have to remind yourself that in the end of the day, nothing is free and there's always a charge somewhere. So if you do want full access to every share, ETF and the use of the stocks and shares ISA, you will need to stump up a fixed monthly fee. Now, there are a few options here which can make things look slightly complicated. For a stocks and shares ISA, you need to stump up £3 a month, or you can opt for their free trade plus account, which is £9.99 a month, which provides you the stocks and shares ISA, as well as other features like limit orders, access to small cap stocks, and also 3% interest on cash balances up to £4,000, which if I use my quick math skills, that means that if you did max out that cash balance in your account, you'd pay your monthly account fees with that interest. So not too bad if you did have that amount of cash sat on the side. Another thing to add here is that newer companies like Free Trade are privately owned and have recently raised cash in a funding round. Without that, they are losing money and currently not profitable in the same way as any other growth stock might not be. So although this doesn't mean they're going anywhere, it does show that there is no such thing as free trading. There is a cost somewhere, but you as a customer aren't seeing it just yet, but we'll keep an eye on this, but worth pointing out anyway. To add further to the additional and optional fees, if you want to utilize a SIP, then you also need to stump up another £9.99, but it can be discounted to £7 if you also have Free Trade Plus. So 
so the most you might spend a month using this platform would be £17. Quite a lot for small balances, but then if you had quite a large investment portfolio, having a fixed fee might actually be more beneficial. Anyway, a great platform in my opinion, and that is disrupting the market. And I'm also a customer here, as you can see, I actually hold a small UK dividend portfolio here, which I'm looking to build out using a normal trading account. So there's no charge for me to worry about. I've also got loads of videos on my channel on free trade if you want some information, including my regular portfolio updates. So go check them out after this. Next, let's talk about a platform that's been designed to satisfy the cravings of those traders who love their US stocks and can't get enough of Tesla and maybe even GameStop too, you sadists. Stake is a relatively new platform also looking to disrupt the market and bring commission-free trading to the UK just like we've seen over in the States with platforms like Robinhood and Webull. Stake allows you to trade US stocks only, so you won't find any UK stocks here and you'll have to convert your pounds into dollars using their platform in order to actually start making any trades. You'll be able to do this on both their website and their smartphone app, meaning that unlike the last couple of platforms we've spoken about, you've actually got access to both. Trading is completely commission free, but there are a few things to know before you get started. Because of the way Stake is set up, there is no access to stocks and shares ISA or a SIP. But this one is just for traders and investors happy to use everything in a general investing account. This means that any capital gains or dividends you will be liable for to pay taxes for, you go beyond any of the allowances, which are currently £12,300 per year on capital gains and £2,000 per year on dividends. Secondly, you could actually consider this a pro or con, but there is an FX fee on your currency when converting it to dollars and then back again as well. But you only have to do this once each side. And this fee is 0.5%. Overall, I'd say it's really competitive and you'll struggle to find much cheaper, but you still need to be aware of it anyway. Nothing's free. While you're trading though, there aren't any other fees to be aware of, so this platform will suit those of you who actually like to trade frequently and often, or maybe you've got a pot of money on the side where you'd like to speculate a bit more outside of any long-term index fund investing. Just a note, I am a customer of Stake. I do have a single holding in their account at the moment on Fiverr, which you might see on screen now or previously. So that's one of the long-term plays for me. Anyway, feel free to use my link in the description below if you do want to get started up. Everything will be down there. Anyway, up next, let's talk about some of the more long-standing established players in the market. These are the companies that are being targeted by the new app-based platforms who hold a lot of the money for customers, but then can also charge some hefty fees too. So let's start firstly talking about Hargreaves Lansdowne. This is the largest broker in the UK and the most well-established, and it's also a publicly listed company. So you can buy Hargreaves Lansdowne shares using the Hargreaves Lansdowne platform. Mind blown. This is one of those all-in-one platforms. So you've got all of your accounts you need. You've got your ISAs, SIPs, general investing, and even junior ISAs, access to UK stocks, US stocks, funds, and every ETF you could imagine, which means that if you like your trading, you'll find what you're looking for here. You can also trade on the website and the mobile app, and I've done quite a few videos covering the platform in more detail. So please feel free to check out my channel after this one if you want some more details. However, as much as the selections are great and you can buy and sell pretty much everything you need with all of the information analysis you could want, you will have to pay for it. So on the downside, Hargreaves Lansdowne's fees definitely can add up over time and they can also get quite complicated. You are smart with what your account you use and how you invest. There are lots of tricks to reduce your fees and minimize them. But overall, you're looking at an account fee of 0.45%, some pretty hefty trading fees of £11.95 per trade, and then also 1% FX fees when you're buying shares outside of your pound sterling. All of this means that you do need to be smart with what you do here. Now, I'm a customer of Hargreaves Lansdowne and I've got most of my portfolio here, so I'm very aware of what I need to do. But really, unless you have a sizable portfolio or even requirements for some niche funds and stocks, then you can definitely get more elsewhere. Personally, I'd really like to see Hargreaves Lansdowne change their fee and pricing structure or even release a light version of their product and compete with some of these newer platforms like free trade and trading 212. Anyway, moving swiftly on, let's talk about Interactive Investor. Again, this is another more established platform that's actually just been acquired by Aberdeen Asset Management, purchased for £1.5 billion. Now, very much like Hargreaves Lansdowne, this is another full feature platform with a website and an app where you can trade as many stocks, shares, funds, ETFs until your heart desires, also in every possible account. But one thing that's quite interesting about the fee structure is that the account fee is a fixed amount of £9.99 similar to what we had with previously looked at with free trade. Now, for that money, you'll also be able to use the junior ISA and a general investing account, as well as getting one free trade per month. Now, this is not something I currently use, but I wanted to highlight it as a fixed account fee because it can be really attractive as you start to build up a really, really large portfolio and you don't want your cost to increase as your wealth does. Now, on the downside, this is a lot of money for smaller account sizes and only getting one free trade means that any trades made outside of this 
will start to cost you money. So that's a fee of £7.99. Again, this is going to hurt smaller traders who just want to trade a few small shares here and there, as well as getting their feet wet for the first time in the stock market. For a fee of that size, you really need to be making trades in the thousands of pounds, otherwise you'll be eating into your potential gains. However, if you're only buying the same fund each month and they're putting away a sizable amount of money, then this is the kind of platform that makes sense and gives you the access to lots of different kinds of markets. Worth looking at and I'd be keen to know if there are any interactive investors out there in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Finally on my list and for no particular reason, let's just quickly talk about AJ Bell before I go into my list of awards and special mentions. This platform is very similar to Hargreaves Lansdowne being fully featured. Again, allowing you access to all of the various markets around the world and all of the account types that you might want to use. The biggest difference I can see from the outside point of view is that the fees look to be almost a mirror image of Hargreaves, except for the fact that rather than being 0.45%, the fees are 0.25%. So there's still dealing fees per trade and 1% fees for currency exchanges, but outside of that, I'm struggling to see any major differentiators, and this is not a platform that I currently use, so I can't really cover it in a huge amount of detail. Again, let me know in the description below if you're a big user of this platform and how you find it. Now though, time for some awards. There's no medals or red carpet. This one's probably about as low budget as it gets, but continue anyway. You got a VIP ticket. I've made a few categories to try and help you with what platform might be best, depending on what you might actually need from that platform. So anyway, in first, let's talk about the award for the best platform for trading UK stocks. And the winner is Free Trade. Now, I've chosen this platform because if you want to trade major US stocks with no commission and get yourself started, then it's really simple. And I like the way they are disrupting the market. But to be honest, more competition, please. Come on. Next up, the best platform for US stock trading. Drum roll, please. Now, this one goes to stake. Now, as mentioned before, this is a simple to use platform that offers you commission free trading once you've exchanged your money so you can fill your boots with the S&P 500 until your heart desires. Next up, best for fun trading and anyone really who wants to build long-term wealth, this one goes to Vanguard. Super low fees, easy to manage, what's not to like. Everyone really should have low cost index funds as their main or all of their portfolio to keep things super simple. For my award for best all in one place, I'm actually going with a platform I've not personally used, but I like the concept of paying a fixed fee and having the ability to trade in lots of different assets. So this one actually goes to Interactive Investor. This will probably need larger account to play with, but there will be people out there who no doubt are interested and want to have that fixed level of fee. And finally, special mentions and watch this space. Firstly, let me mention Invest Engine, and this is a smaller platform so far, but I see a lot of potential here. No fees and great for ETFs in fund investing. It's only charges to have a managed portfolio, but if you do it yourself, this could be a great place to invest. So I'm looking forward to seeing this one grow. And finally, I'm looking forward to seeing what Doddle can offer, which is actually on the roadmap from AJ Bell as their easy to use investing app. Now, I think this space needs more competition and anything we can do to get more people invested rather than wasting their money in a low interest savings account or sat under the mattress sounds really, really good to me. Anyway, just be really, really careful out there. Do your own research. Make sure you stick to FCA regulated providers and consider what's important to you. At the end of the day, that's the most important thing. I hope you've really enjoyed the video. Drop me a like if you have. Subscribe for many more. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, happy investing.